Hey guys, I'm Angel and he's Ryan and we're the Readers. Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Readers. We are back for our snack crate. And it is saying Kia Ora, Ryan Reader, which means hello in some language. I'm guessing it's Korean because the Kia is made in South Korea, so. Yeah. So, we're, go we're gonna dive right in here and see where our snack crate is from this month. I'm excited. Cut this thing open. He's just cutting the tape on it. So, it is absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is New, New Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, oh. Put it over this way. Sorry. You know I always read some fun you facts. Know I always read. She does. I do always read fun facts. Okay, fun fact number one: High schools in New Zealand are entitled by law to one pound of uranium and one pound of thorium, but under the Nuclear Test Ban Act, there is a fine of one million dollars for creating nuclear explosions. Interesting. There is an official wizard of New Zealand. He was appointed by the Prime Minister in 1990, and he wears a pointy hat and robes. Okay, I actually read about this um, sometime recently, and they just recently uh, gave him the pink slip. Interesting. But yeah, true thing. Okay. Just, yeah, so. so, New Zealand's largest city, Auckland is surrounded by about 50 volcanoes. I would be on nerve all the time about that. Uh, New Zealand was once home to the moa, a flightless bird that could grow up to 12 feet tall. Hmm. Do you want to read that one? Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to climb Mount Everest, is from Auckland, New Zealand. Wow. So, there we go. So, New Zealand, here we come for a snack crate. So, oh, how funny. So, we've got a couple, oh, we've got a couple of chips in here that uh, should be interesting to try. Um, I'm a chip person, as you all probably know by now. Okay, so you wanted to start with these? Sure. All right, you want to tell us a little bit about Ripples. it? Etta Ripples, ETA, Etta, Eda, whatever. Made with New Zealand grown potatoes, this ultra crunchy snack features the perfect blend of fresh herbs and savory chicken seasoning. So I will say one thing about this. Uh, a lot of times we get bags that have a lot of air, like they're very vacuum sealed. This one, I mean, not so much. Uh, there's a lot of play in it. So this one is chicken flavor, which I'm probably not going to be a huge fan of. She usually isn't. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, chicken flavored stuff. What have you cut with this? I don't know. What have you... Okay, he's cut something with my scissors. Some kind of glue. I think maybe when he worked on his bells or something, these are not going to work. I'll be right back. Just go get the little blue ones that are over there right now, and we'll worry about those later. Right there. Um, little malfunction here. I think he was working on some bells for school, and he uh, may have gotten um, Gorilla Glue on them. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain what. But. I know not what she speaks of. Here's that. Okay, so here we go. Looks like a regular chip. Just looks like a regular chip. It smells sort of weird. It smells a little weird. So it's chicken flavor. Not a fan. It has the flavor of ramen noodles. A little bit. Texture of a chip. Texture of a chip. A little bit of flavor of a uh, ramen noodle. Mmm. Not the best thing in the world. Not for me. Not my, not my idea thing. So, but, hey. 
different. So obviously that's something that they uh, eat over there. Okay. So what's next? Uh, are you picking something next? I am gonna pick something. We'll save that for last okay. or close to last. We're gonna do some, this is scary. Okay, what is that? Pascal, Pascal, pineapple lumps. Pineapple lumps. With real fruit texture. Seduce your taste buds with this chewy New Zealand favorite featuring a soft pineapple flavored, flavored center coated in delicious milk chocolate. So basically, it's a chocolate covered pineapple. It says on the back that it's a national treasure. I don't know. So, pineapple and chocolate. Okay. So, it's most people. You ready? Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Okay. It's very chewy. Very chewy, very tough. Um, Not like taffy where it sticks to your teeth. Just. Is that dark chocolate or? Tastes like dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know about it. Um. So it's like dried pineapple. I guess. It says soft, soft pineapple. Number one ingredient is sugar, and then sugar, and then vegetable fat, and then sugar, and cocoa powder, and then milk. I don't know where the pineapple comes in. One of the ingredients, it doesn't list pineapple at all. Tapioca starch, corn starch. Oh, pineapple juice concentrate. 1% of it is pineapple juice concentrate. But that comes after sugar, sugar, fat, sugar, cocoa powder, milk solids, gelatin, maltodextrin. Yeah. I don't... The pineapple, I mean, it's not bad. At the end of it, you get a hint of pineapple. You get the pineapple flavor with a little bit of like chocolate, so it's right pretty now. good. It's okay, so what? It's my turn. It is your turn. Interesting. At the end, it tastes like um, pineapple taffy. But snacker balls, snacker balls. Um, these little round salted caramel delights are made with cashews. Ooh, I like cashews. And shredded coconut. She doesn't like shredded coconut. So you don't have to feel guilty about eating the whole bag. Tom and Luke. Nourishments for healthy lifestyle. So this is apparently a healthy snack. Cashews. I like cashews. I wonder if it's something oh, that geez. can just be bit. I'm about to find out. Mm -mm. Oh. No. <laughs> it tastes healthy. <laughs> no, we didn't do. We didn't get after. I'll be right back. That's a negatory ghost rider for me. Mm -mm. Oh, gosh. How can something with cashews and it taste so bad? Natural salted caramel flavored. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. Taste-free. No, it has taste. It's just cardboard. not very good. It tastes like cardboard. We have some kids that... Eat gluten free. Mm -hmm. So they'll maybe they'll think it tastes good. Who knows? There you go. Save that for somebody else. The gluten free kiddos. Lord. Yep. 
Yuckity, yuck. Yuck. But that can be cut up. You can take a knife and cut that up for, and because you don't want a whole big piece of that, do you? <laughs> I didn't want the half that I got. <laughs> All right, what are you going with? Moro. Moro, need oh, a boost. Cadbury. This will deliver. Enjoy a Cadbury chocolate covered caramel and nougat filled treat that oozes deliciousness with every bite. Moro. Cadbury. Cadbury, Cadbury. That almost makes me feel like this is like a nutritious thing or something. This doesn't look nutritious. It's got... You're like tearing it. I know, because... It's... Well, how do you expect to take that to school when you're making it, a mess? I'm going to put it in the bag. Men. Can't take them nowhere. Well, my fault. It melted. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. And we're just going to share this. I'm going to have to put it on a Ziploc bag. In a Ziploc bag. I don't want to touch it. No. I had high hopes. It has a weird. It has a weird flavor. But since how it's smashed and leaking out. It has a weird flavor and it said need a boost. That makes me think that that's kind of like a nutrition. Like something you would get over in the pharmacy with like some of those. Uh, protein bars and stuff. Was that kind of what you got? Yeah. All right. It's, it's, it's fine, but it's not good. All right. This is made by Nestle. Pixie Caramel. If you're looking for a longer lasting chew, then this hard caramel covered in rich dark chocolate is the Kiwi Classic for you. Now, I'm going to do a little bit better than he did on this. I hope so. Because I'm going to have to get a Ziploc bag. And we need to, the paper, so, well, just as long as we can tell what it is. But as, as mashed out as that was, it may have like got hot. And... This looks like dark chocolate. Okay. We're just so, share that? Yeah, we're just gonna share this. So it uh, looks like dark chocolate. The longer lasting chew. Mm. It has a texture about like that pineapple thing we got there a minute ago. Yeah. With that chocolate and then some um, chewy pineapple. Not bad though. I like it. It's dark chocolate, though, and I'm not a dark chocolate fan. Is that my... No, that was Nestle. This is Nestle. Okay. Okay, what is this? Original chocolate fish. Hmm, chocolate fish. Often rewarded... To children for a job well done. This fish-shaped marshmallow Cadbury. is enrobed with a layer of rich Cadbury dairy milk chocolate. That got strawberry in it? Yeah, it's good. It's really pink. Nothing on the cover would tell you that it's pink, but it's pink. So that reminds me of getting a marshmallow bunny. 
Yeah. Like at Easter and you get a marshmallow bunny, that's what that reminds chocolate me of. Chocolate covered. Yeah. Like a chocolate that's covered a, bunny. Oh. That's it's supposed to be flavored look like a fish. I guess. Yeah. There's the fish. We ate the tail. We'll put it back in there and we can try that with our kids. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is do this. Yeah. And then do that, and then do that. She wants to do a bag of chips. She likes to finish with the salty if she can. Well, I'm not gonna finish with salty because those are spicy. I'd like to have something sweet. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna read what this is. Fabuloso. Fabuloso. Sherbert Fizz. With its zippy citrus flavor, these wonderfully tasty and chewy candy tubes are the ideal to satisfy your craving for both licorice and sherbet. Oh, I don't like licorice. Huh. What Do they mean black licorice? No. Oh, like Twizzler. Uh-huh, kinda. Oh, Twizzler makes a, a chewy filled Twizzler. That makes sense. Twizzler bites. I need a knife. Because otherwise, I'm going to squeeze. Just get me one of those red knives. We're going to have to get our crap together, guys, on this video. Mr. Reader is, like, slacking us down here. What? Well, first, you get us faulty scissors. Then, we need a knife, and we don't have one. When have we ever used a knife? Uh, when we did the Cadbury video for chocolate. Okay. All right. So, yeah, there's like Twizzler bites. So this is what we have. It does look like Twizzler, and it has like a cream coming out of it. So you ready? Tastes like Twizzler bites. I think that's what they're called. With a big burst of flavor. They have the the bites have yeah. Twizzler has a version of this with the... Okay, well, that, that'll be good to share with the kids. They'll like that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. So, we're doing the fruit burst. Is that what you said? We're doing this next. Munchios. No, Munchos. Munchos spicy tomato. Never heard of them. I love Munchos chips. It says Munchos isn't just any old chip. This crunchy corn snack... Provides a fiery flavor explosion with the perfect blend of zesty tomato and savory spices. Did you show them the bag? No. And once again, this bag, as you can tell, <laughs> is not inflated. Somewhere we got a bag, and it was uber inflated. Proudly Kiwi made. Proudly... Probably yeah. what? Kiwi made. Is that the same people that made that other one? That ETA? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ETA, whatever that is, has made these. What? Hmm. I, sm I smell better. They kind of remind me of a pork rind. A square pork rind. You ready? Yep. Horrible. It doesn't taste like something I would. It does not taste like something I would actually eat. So wheat flour. They, it, it's kind of weird. Okay, so you put it in your mouth and you start chewing, and then about right now you start getting the flavor, like real strong. It almost tastes ketchupy. Remember those ketchup chips we had? Well, it's tomato. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like spicy ketchup. Our I'm last... I'm not seeing the spicy part. I'm not seeing spicy. I'm getting like that real ketchup-y yeah. flavor. Tastes like, yeah, ketchup all the way. And apparently in, in Kiwi, in New Zealand, instead of listing calories, they list, they list it as energy. Oh. And then over well, here, maybe that's why 
on that one over here, it said need a boost. Maybe they list that that as energy. Who knows? I don't know. It's uh, It says like, and then over here it says it's 137 calories and uh, 573 kilojoules. Kilojoules. Um, not horrible, but not something I would want. No. Now, if you're like a real ketchup lover, then obviously those would be for you. Okay, so you know. Peanut Slab, a kiwi favorite since 1896. This rich milk chocolate bar is generously filled with roasted peanuts, making it the perfect late night indulgence. Well, it's not real big, and it's made by Whitaker's. Sure. Is apparently the name on it. Whitaker's, the original peanut slab. So. Whitaker's. The way it's written. Oops. Reminds me of Whitman's. Whitman's, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the lettering looks like Whitman's. So, I don't know if the two were related or not. Yeah. Could be. Who knows? If you know something about it, drop us a line and let us know. But this doesn't look like dark chocolate. It says milk chocolate. Yeah. If you've ever tried any of this stuff, just naturally eating it, share. Tell us about it. Tell us what you think. Tell us if you like stuff differently than we do. We have a friend, what? She uses ketchup with her, with her uh, popcorn. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you ready? No. Mmm, I like it. You don't like it? It has a weird taste to it. It's full of peanuts. Like, it is, it is chocked full of peanuts. It says it was. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's almost like a Mr. Good bar, but more peanuts. I think the chocolate is kind of weird. I like it. It's probably the okay. best thing out of the whole thing so far for me. What was your favorite? Um, the Sherbert Fizz. The Fabulous. Is, fabulous. is that what it was? I figured it would be because you really like a twiz, uh, those yeah. Twizzler things. No, that's my favorite out of everything. These were okay. Mm. I'm I'm that peanut that Whitaker's. The Morrow's was a disappointment. A huge disappointment. I had high hopes for it. So all we have left are fruit burst, which there's two different flavors, three different flavors. I'm gonna go with wild berry. This one's orange, and this one is. This one is wild oh. berry. Banana, banana. I like banana. banana. And I was I would do banana or orange, but I think they might have my yellow number five coloring in it. You can do nanner. Is there anything on there that's about them? <laughs> Bite down on this chewy lolly to experience a burst of fruity flavors like banana, strawberry, wild berry, orange, and lemon lime. Mm. Smells good. What does that look like? Oh, looks like bubblegum. Oh, it's going to be really hard, so. I am getting a little aftertaste from those peanuts now. <laughs> I'm definitely getting banana, though. This is definitely berry. It has a definite, the flavor is not subtle, but it's good. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Almost like a hot chew or something. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, so that is our New Zealand snack crate. Um... If you, too, would like to receive a snack crate, you can go to snackcrate.com and sign up for your monthly subscription. It runs, how much does it run a month? $26. $26 a month. 
super fun, super neat to get to try the different snacks from other countries and for us getting to share it with other people that enjoy it too. So, um, if you'd like that, go to snackcrate.com. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, The Readers, please do so. Um, give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can also leave us a comment about our video. If you like the video or you don't like the video, let us know why you don't. Um, if you have questions, you can leave them on there. Um, if you get the more expensive one than we got, you get a LNP, you would have got an LNP soda, which says it's a, a drink which combines the acidity of lemon juice with the light and bubbly mineral water. So yes. Bubbly lemon juice? Uh, yeah. I'm not a big bubbly water drinker, so. But, um, follow us on Facebook under the Readers. Uh, we usually have a new video come out every Saturday at, um, noon. And uh, we really appreciate you guys following us and subscribing. And until next time, be safe. Merry Christmas. Be well. See you guys. Bye.